I don't know if that, that doesn't motivate you to like throw all your money away, you know, a useless piece of junk forward and make it look cool. I don't know if it really would. All right, what's going on guys? You can see Franklin Sharks behind me. I haven't been able to film as much as I wanted to, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys, kind of run you guys through all the work he's done so far. Um, but this is the off-road F100 build, which is going pretty good so far. A lot of you guys told me to build an F100, but I'm just gonna let you guys see this one so you can see how he does it, if you're curious on doing it yourself. So, he's actually got the link mounts made, links mocked up, he's done a lot of work. He's actually notched the frame, he's done a 909 speed code notch, all this other cool stuff. No, I'm just kidding, but either way, you can see he's got a pretty good amount done compared to last time. When I stand at the back, you'll kinda, kinda really see it. So, obviously he has links now, there's no more leaf springs. There's a step notch right there. There's tubes cut out, there's upper links, there's lower links, there's uh, bad welds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all these other useless tubes are all cut out. I think these ones, these ones are all, everything else, that's like the only tube that's staying, huh? No, this is the only one staying. This, this one? is coming out, this is coming out, and this one's staying. That's it. Okay. And then that side you have to get kind of Yeah, these are going to get all redone. You're going to get rid of your tailgate. Are, are you keeping your, you're, you're getting rid of your tailgate, right? We'll see. Just, oh, we'll see. I'm trying to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Have a link truck with his tailgate. So yeah, run me through what you've done since then. Because it's kind of the lot. Which has been a pain in the butt because plasma cutter broke. So I had to cut those to miter them, which is three by five square tubing that we had laying around in my shop. And then just did some overlay plates for them. Weld that in. Cut the rest of the frame out. Box the back of the frame in so that's all sealed off. And then started the link mounts on both of these. Got some more balls to mount the links, and then welding uh, the upper links. And we cycled this on a computer, so we should have at like 21 inches, less than an inch of drive shaft plunge, and like four degrees of pinion angle change from where it's at right now, which is at zero. So, so does it when does the pinion pinion angle go downward or upward when it cycles? It would go down, right? Because the lower link would push it out, or am I backwards? It's gonna upwards. It go other way. Okay. Yeah. And then. Um, yeah, what's your thing? That's what it showed on the computer. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, you're going to mount the coilover on the link. As you can see, it's a flat link. I'm assuming that, so these were old, these were old links off of an Explorer. I'm assuming. Uh, you can insert some clips of that thing getting sent. Yes, sent, <laughs> sent, sent. I think it's yeah, sent. Noah sends this thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is where you mounted it previously. That's why this is all clean, cleaned no, up. Yeah, uh, or did he? He just had a limit strap tab there that I cleaned off because it had to come off anyways. So gotcha. Okay. Just cut it off and cleaned it up. And then you're gonna mount them roughly. I don't know, probably where this is then, huh? Yeah, something yeah. like right there. I gotta cut the top out and then put some plates, um, plate the rest of it in and put the shocks on. All right, so there'll be a big old mighty, mighty fine coilover. I think we showed that in the last video. I can't remember. Um, right there. So, and. Got some tabs welded here. You can see he. The one thing I want to point out is when he's making plates, there's no. There's a lot of fancy tools in here, but a lot of them don't work. So he just has to, you know, make them by by literally from scratch. You can see there's all these tabs. They're not, you know, they're not cut perfectly. Um, they will be. But either way, you can see, you know, you don't need any fancy tools to make this stuff. You just gotta, you know, have patience. Cut out with torch, fill it with a grinder, make it smooth, make it pretty. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, use one of these. You got a bandsaw, which is cool. Yeah, dude, that thing is awesome. Cool. Well, either way. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a nice thin cardboard to work with. Oh, yeah. Some template paper, dude. Yeah. So CAD. This, this cardboard is... Cardboard-aided design, dude. What was that? Don't need computers. CAD. Cardboard-aided design. I like that. Don't need computers. Yeah, you don't need any of that stuff. But anyways, we're going to... Right now, we are... What are we doing? We're... Are we welding this one? This one we're on the top? We're those on and then building, tacking this in. That's roughly the length. Cut a piece of DOM for that. Tack those on and then... Cycle this thing. Get the other one done, so we'll have all. Four. I'm assuming you're gonna put this link on the other side, so we can have everything on, or right. you just the lower link is on. Oh, it is already on, isn't it? No, everything's on. It's just okay. it needs to get tacked. I need to get another piece cut, and then um, spin adjust these a little bit, and we can cycle this thing. Cool. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing welded up and see if it actually Franklin designed it right. Correctly. Yeah, let's see if it does what it's supposed, see what to it's do. supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, what, getting hit in the face by two? Oh, that is no, Just letting you know you're never cutting those tacks off. Someone's got off. to hold this, you know that, right? You're holding it right now. No, someone's got to come hold the freaking... But you're doing it right now. You're doing a pretty good job. And someone's got to film the video, it's right? I mean, it's just tacking it, right? Just squeeze the trigger. It's your time to shine there, bud. I'm not a professional. Sorry. Right. I need a sharpie. Franklin's one. definitely not a professional. Okay, just a little bit. <laughs> Aren't you just tacking it? Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's custom. Custom with a capital freaking K. You built something that didn't break. Exactly. I gotta stand in the back. It always looks cooler in the back. That looks freaking sick. Looks like you almost know what you're doing. <laughs> looks like I almost know what I'm doing. Hey, come here. Hold this with your fingers and tack it real quick. Yep, yeah, no, we're done. Pretty much. And the funny thing is we measured and it's actually straight, so shut up, commenters. We actually kind of know what we're doing. Just act like we don't. I think it's a like hair off. Cardboard. Nope, still it's dead straight. Everything's still tacked and straight. Damn, that is so sick. Garage built, baby. Okay, where's the tape measure real quick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What do you want to try, Burger Man? This isn't even right yet. It's so Almost 12 and a half inches of travel from right here. How much down? That's not, I'll leave it right there. Watch it. it won't go on. <clears throat> okay, hold on, you need a piece of... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I wish my camera was a wide angle lens so you can actually like see the whole truck. But dang, dude, the links look so sick. I don't know if that, that doesn't motivate you to like throw all your money away, you know, a useless piece of junk forward to make it look cool. I don't know if it really would. Featuring the, <laughs> the town taking nights in the background. Oh, I'm gonna copyright it for music. You guys can enjoy that.
you see here, we have the Cry for Craig 909 and his wild habitat on his phone that responding to any of your answers to questions on uh, YouTube or social media. Follow him at the Craig 909. Oh, you're actually taking it out. That thing's been in there since I've known you. That's why I think you don't work. <laughs> What's up with that? I know I didn't work. You installed it. Um, the wire wasn't on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great observation there. That wasn't a word. Alright guys. We got a lot done. I mean, it may not look like a lot, but you gotta keep in mind this is starting from scratch. Um, I do want you guys to check out, you know, I do want you guys to take a better look at the, the whole step notch. You know, it's not so they just square tube welded together with plates. Anybody can do that. So I'm not trying to like, this looks very cool, but it's all, you know, simple stuff. This is, this is an overlaid plate with two tubes inside of it. Um, or is it one tube? It's one tube. Yeah, it's only one tube. I didn't build those. But yeah, it's not like it's, you can see a tube's bent. It's very simple stuff. Anybody can do this. That's what we're trying to get at with this entire thing. We're not, we don't have crazy tools, you know? Yeah, I got a decent welder, stuff like that. But uh, anybody can do this stuff. So if you got a truck, you want to build it, start getting some tubes, start cutting stuff, teaching yourself how to do it, and uh, just go for it. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, what are we doing in the next video, actually? Um, possibly the rear end. I don't know. It depends when the crate comes back down, but shocks could be mounted by then. I'm hoping to have the rear end done within the next six, seven days, which is kind of honestly more than enough time. But uh, the only thing I really need to do is make mounts, double shear mounts, and then start making shock mounts, and that's it. Cool. And then we can work on the front steering, all the cool stuff in the front of the truck. And we're doing an engine cage, right? Gotta, yeah, I gotta widen the beams too. Widen the beams, fix the actual cab cage, just a bunch of cool stuff. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna cover it all. Supports. I'm gonna try to be here more often so I get more working on stuff. So, well, with that being said, thank you guys. Like the video, please. It would mean a lot to me. Let me know what you think about this truck. Any tips, comments, questions, or concerns, I'll try to answer them. I got a bunch of comments I gotta go through. I'll just start answering those pretty soon. Um, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.